Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss inclined inline slider crank mechanism, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis using analytical method. In this picture shown is an inclined inline slider crank mechanism. So the slider crank mechanism is inclined by an angle theta 1 from horizontal like shown here. So this link L2 is cranked, this link L3 is coupler and this is slider. So crank is at an angle theta 2 from horizontal. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations. First let us draw a line, a parallel line, uh, line parallel to this line here. So angle from this horizontal to this line is theta 1 since this angle is theta 1. Now angle from this horizontal to this coupler link is theta 3. So angle between this line and this red line that is coupler and this uh, inclined line uh, will be theta 1 minus theta 3. So the length of this link coupler is L3. So here the angle here is theta 1 and crank angle is theta 2 from horizontal. So angle between this inclined line and this red uh, crank is theta 2 minus theta 1. So the distance from this point to this point let us call that y. So y can be written as L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 that is L2 uh, length of this link L2 and this angle is theta 2 minus theta 1. So this distance y is L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1. Similarly, so this link length is L3 and this angle here is theta 1 minus theta 3. So this length length here will be equal to L3 into sin theta 1 minus theta 3. So we have L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to L3 sin theta 1 minus theta 3. So from this we can write theta 3 equal to theta 1 minus sin inverse L2 by L3 sin theta 2 minus theta 1. When crank angle theta 2 is equal to theta 1, then these two links fall in line with this inclined line. So the slider will come to this position. So the distance between this point and this slider center can be written as L2 plus L3. Since this is L2, this is L3. So total distance is L2 plus L3. Now let us call this distance uh, along this inclined plane. So distance from here to here x1. So similarly the distance from here to here x2. So the displacement is yes. So from here to here. So now let us write x1. x1 can be written as L2 into cos theta 2 minus theta 1. Since this angle is theta 2 minus theta 1, this is L2. So this distance that is x1 equal to L2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1. Similarly, x2 can be written as uh, since this length is L3 and this angle here is theta 3, theta 1 minus theta 3. So this distance x2 can be written as x2 equal to L3 into cos theta 1 minus theta 3. So from this diagram, the displacement of the piston for any given crank angle theta 2 can be written as S equal to this distance L2 plus L3 minus x1 minus x2. So that is written here. So S equal to L2 plus L3 minus x1 plus x2 so minus here for both of them so let us substitute this x1 and x2 in this equation we get s equal to l2 plus l3 minus l2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 minus l3 cos theta 1 minus theta 3 so after rearranging the, this equation we get displacement of the slider s equal to l2 into 1 minus cos theta 2 minus theta 1 plus l3 into 1 minus cos theta 1 minus theta 3 so this is the equation uh, to find displacement of the slider for any given angle theta 2. So theta 3 we have seen in the previous slides how to calculate that. Now to find velocity of the slider we need to differentiate the displacement equation with respect to time. So v equal to ds by dt. So the previous ex, uh, equation after differentiation it will become L2 into 0 minus uh, sin theta 2 minus theta 1 into omega 2 plus L3 into 0 plus sin theta 1 minus theta 3 minus omega 3. So this after rearranging we will get velocity of the slider V equal to L2 omega 2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 sin theta 3 
minus theta 1. So this is the equation to find velocity of the slider. To find acceleration of the slider, we need to differenti differentiate velocity equation uh, with respect to time. So after differentiation, this equation will become a equal to dv by dt that equal to L2 omega 2 square cos theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L2 alpha 2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 square cos theta 3 minus theta 1 plus L3 alpha 3 sin theta 3 minus theta 1. So in this equation, uh, in these two equations, omega 2 is uh, angular velocity of the crank, omega uh, alpha 2 is angular acceleration of the crank, omega 3 is angular velocity of coupler, alpha 3 is angular acceleration of coupler. We have seen in the second slide, uh, y is L2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to L3 sin theta 1 minus theta 3. Now let us differentiate this equation with respect to time. So dy by dt is equal to L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to minus L3 omega 3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. So the, from this uh, equation we can write omega 3 angular velocity of coupler link equal to minus L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 by L3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. So using this equation we can find angular velocity of coupler link. Now to find angular acceleration of coupler link we need to differentiate y with respect to time twice. So this will become d square y by dt square equal to d by dt into L2 omega 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 equal to d by dt minus L3 omega 3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. So after differentiation, differentiating this and rearranging we get alpha 3 angular acceleration of coupler link alpha 3 equal to L2 omega 2 square sin theta 2 minus theta 1 minus L2 alpha 2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1 plus L3 omega 3 square sin theta 3 minus theta 1 by L3 cos theta 3 minus theta 1. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, we have taken L2 crank length is 480 millimeter, L3 coupler length is 1600 millimeter, omega 2 is 10 radians per second, alpha 2 is 30 radians per second square and theta 1 is 30 degrees. So this angle theta 1 is 30 degrees. So the theta, this in this column, theta 2 is uh, return from 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees. So in this column we have calculated S yes, displacement of slider, in this column velocity of the slider, in this column acceleration of the slider, here theta 3 uh, angle theta 3 of, of the uh, coupler link and in this column omega 3 angular velocity of uh, coupler link and in this column alpha 3 that is angular acceleration of coupler link are calculated. So these are the values. In the coming slides, let us see the graphs. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus uh, displacement of the slider. Theta 2 along horizontal 0 to 360 degrees along vertical, yes, displacement of the slider. So this is the graph. In this graph, we have plotted theta 2 versus theta 3. So along horizontal again, theta 2, 0 to 360 degrees along vertical theta 3. So this is the variation of theta 3 with respect to uh, theta 2. In this graph, we have plotted along horizontal theta 2 along vertical uh, velocity of the slider and angular velocity of coupler. So this blue curve is velocity of the slider and this yellow curve is angular velocity of uh, coupler link. So similarly, in this graph, we have plotted along horizontal theta 2 along vertical acceleration of the slider and alpha 3 that is angular angular acceleration of coupler link. So this blue curve is acceleration of the slider and this yellow curve is angular acceleration of coupler link. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.